but those metal booster boxes give me a half chub. So. Dead eggs. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. I can do too much of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Harry, somewhere. <laughs> and I'm Floating Richard. Oh, that's Dead Decks. It sure is. Uh, not the normal angle you're used to. Now, we've uh, we've been gone for a while. Uh, one of us fucked off for three months, and in the meantime, both of us bought a bunch of fucking shit. Yeah. So I figured we'd show you what the hell we got into. A lot yeah. of this is going to be years to talk about, Harry, because I, I don't know what to say. I don't either. Uh, over on the left hand side, uh, of course, you know me and my gold cards. I love my gold cards. So, uh, I, me and the wife were in Florida for a couple months for the winter, and I didn't have much down there, much to do down there but buy shit. So, that's what I did. Gold cards, as you see. Uh, and one of our halls, you saw I had a bunch of NBA showdown. Didn't mention much about that, but realized that I had, was very close to a set. So, I've been collecting cards that I needed for that set, and I'm now one shy. So, yeah, boy. Um, so, we'll over go here, we got I've bought some more shit on the internet. Got some hardcore nitro loose packs. There's a full box, 36 packs. And we were uncertain whether they ever made a base non first edition hardcore box. Now we know they did. We thought they were just blisters. Uh, but they do made, they made a box. We got a couple of Wheel of Time starter decks and some bulk cards here for a pretty good deal. Got some hockey cards I found pretty cheap on the internet. Bunch of fucking yeah. decks. Found some Netrunner in the old Florida's at a flea market. Yeah, boy. At, uh, it's a different flea market. I found all this, all this fucking Legend of the Five Ring shit. I mean, a blue fucking ton. I mean, it's a lot. Look at all that. I mean, my God. So much. A fondle motion. And a couple of Lord of the Rings were included in the Five Rings crap. Because I guess it has rings in the title. It all goes together. <laughs> A couple of Umbra, or uh, not Wyvern, Rage Packs. Those were way too expensive, but I bought them anyway. Something else, I don't even know what the fuck this is. It's Cardfight Vanguard, I think. Yeah, Bushy Road. But I don't know what kind of pack that is. And a couple of Warhammers. Starting yeah. Decks. Oh, is this me now? It's all you, bud. Well, there's, we're going to be opening this bitch soon. This is our Rise Prestige box that uh, we were given to open on camera. And we neglected to do it because <laughs> one of us fucked off. But we're about to. Uh, I'd snag a Wicked Prophecy box because it was cheap, and I plan on grabbing all the cryptic shit at some point. Uh, a little Back Alley Mages, the mini box. Also got a cheap. I know those who've tricked people who thought they were buying a regular booster box and got pissed off when they realized what it was. I think there's five packs in that fucking thing. Pretty excited to find that beauty. Power Storm. Nice condition. Finally got me a box of Gridiron, an actual booster box. There's some more Bunky Enterprises. Bunky! Be a wrestler. I imagine I will. <laughs> uh, Gallimonds, because that's dropped too, along with a lot of the other uh, kickstarted stuff during the boom. Box of a core that was cheap that Harry made me buy. You're welcome. Under duress. Yep. This is an obscure little game. Not even sure if it made it to full production. Legend of Chaos, but I think it was made. Just really rare and indie. Uh, then some shit Harry found. <laughs> the dirt fucking cheap in a bargain bin. Some high command expansion type stuff. Uh, some Kaijudo. Some Redekai. There's an Eye of Judgment. Pirates of the Caribou. Caribou? Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. Fuck him, Caribou. Those are the Doomtown expansions for the for the uh, fixed version of the game. Uh, and oh, this beautiful guy here. One of the Chase Garbage Pail Kid cards. I hadn't even been able to get my hands on one yet, and Harry hooked me up. Found it out in the wild, too. And one of the best. Richie Rich. Uh, oh, back here is a whole bunch of Maelstrom. A few other things mixed in here. There's a few hundred cards of Maelstrom, which, of course, never got made. We didn't even get a funeral for it. I was shocked to find out they even had a good-looking Maelstrom card. I didn't know those existed. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of them just look like this. Like, what the fuck is that even? He just took a picture of the ceiling. And... Yeah. All right. Uh... Fuck. Shit, man. Come on now. Is that it? Well, yeah. I mean, this is three months of... Four months of buying? Four months of buying. Oh, I left out a couple. Fuck. You let oh, me skip a second. My bad. Uh, Saga. This is, Saga. This is uh, this is not a CCG. The cards that came in these packs were for redemption in their online game. They did have rarity, but they, they have nothing on them other than a code and some cheesy artwork, but I grabbed a box of that. And then three 
uh, of the metal booster boxes that I needed for L5R. Uh, these are little ivory editions, not that hard to find. Uh, but I'm only missing one now. I have all of the nine. And ironically, we're not that big of fans of Legend of the Five Rings, and we have a table that's quarter full of them. <laughs> so. Yeah, I can't always stand looking at the shit. I have no interest in the game at all. <laughs> the aesthetic, the everything about it, I dislike. But those metal booster boxes gives me a half chub. So. And if these five ring cards over here, the used ones that I found at the flea market, if they're not for sale by the time this video is up, they will be. Yeah. Because I don't want them. <laughs> I just like finding shit in the wild. <laughs> all right, well, there you go. There's our... Big giant haul of shit for a couple months. Yep. All right. Well, fuck how we do. Yeah, good fucking enough. Fucking buddy, buddy.